continuing on. Let's send this to Keyshot. Uh, so uh, everything's looking pretty good. I've got all my, you know, these are all separated by color. Uh, so I'll just do uh, tools. I've got the plugin uh, installed. So I'm just going to send to Keyshot. And then in Keyshot, let it pull it in. For the most part, it looks okay. Uh, it's definitely down below the ground plane, so let's come to our scene. Let's pick the whole model. Snap to ground. That looks good. Uh, let's take care of the tessellation on the head uh, first. So uh, let's, you know, from scene, let's pick it and right click and edit normals. And then, you know, it's got all these facets uh, on here. So what we want to do is decrease the minimum edge angle to the point where, you know, these that, you know, where they've got kind of shallow angles between them will sort of smooth across each other. So, I don't know, let's try something like uh, 10 uh, on there. Oop. Uh, uh, edit normals. Sorry, let's do 10 to calculate vertex normals. Let's try 15. Ah, dang it. Oh, sorry, I'm going the wrong way. This needs to be high. Yeah, let's try 80. There we go. And let's apply that. Yeah, so anything within 80 degrees uh, will smooth across, you know, make it all look like one surface. It, you're still going to get some faceting you know, from some of this geometry entry, and you, you can try like 91 uh, to get rid of it, but uh, or something even higher. But uh, yeah, this, for the most part, this looks pretty good. Uh, now let's just, uh, I'm just going to use a cloth material uh, on the mask. You could use the new real cloth in Keyshot 9. Uh, but uh, you would really need to UV unwrap uh, all this, and uh, which is not all that hard to do in most modeling packages. Uh, Keyshot, or sorry, SolidWorks doesn't have it. Keyshot da does have it now, uh, but it's one of the worst implementations of UV unwrapping I've ever seen. Uh, so uh, I wouldn't bother. Um, you know, if this were a much simpler model, it might be doable. Uh, and in fact, in all the online examples that they show. Um, you know, they're doing something super simple, some things that really don't even need to be unwrapped, but, well, there it is. Uh, but I'm just going to you know, drag this cloth on there, uh, and I wanna, I'm going to drag a cloth also onto the strap, but I'm going to use a different one, so I do not want to link those. Yeah, so let's, let's come over to our material. Let's pick our... Uh, mask, I think that's the mask. Let's, let's make sure let's select the part with yeah, that's it. Yeah, so let's double click that to edit it. Uh, let's give it our name. And let's go to our textures. And for our uh, yeah, for the size here, let's make it a little finer. So let's do a 0 0.5. And if you change one and they're linked, and they should be or synced rather, let's make sure they're synced. So it should then sync all the other uh, textures uh, with it. It does not need to be two-sided, so I can turn that off. And then uh, let's go to our material graph. Actually, I'm going to leave that that kind of gray color. I'll change the one for the strap, make it a little lighter. So. Uh, Let's come to it. Let's double click it. From straps. And let's go to our textures. Let's go to our material graph. Let's double click on weave. And uh, let's scroll down. Yeah, for our background. Uh, I'll actually, uh, I'll leave that alone. Let's make the width really light. So, yeah, it's looking okay. Yes, yeah, so that's good. We, you know, just we just want some differentiation uh, uh, between there. Maybe make the warp a little 
egg as well. Alright. Yeah, that's that's some good differentiation uh, between them. And then, um, you know, this, that dark stitching just stands out way too much. So uh, let's come to our... Okay, so that's that's the head. And let's just go ahead and name that. And then... Stitches and oh nope that ain't them uh, that's something else what is that uh, I'm not sure what that is Just make those. I'm just gonna make those solid white. And I'm gonna leave those as a diffuse material. You know, the, they're they're so small. They're not going to read as much unless you get really zoomed in on them. Yeah, I don't really think you need to. And then let's uh, let's change our environment a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's use let's just use one of the interiors. Let's get something with a little more blue cast to it. There we go. Nope, nope. Let's use something with a warm cast, and then we'll use a uh, for our, our background, which is a solid color. I'll just use that default blue there. That seems to work pretty well. Yeah, that's looking okay. If you're getting a lot of more uh, on the you know, the mass there, you can bump the size back up a little bit. thing looks tilted to me. Just mouse around till we find a pretty good angle. Let it res up some. So let's, let's take it to a, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's transform our environment. Um, rotate it so that the... Again, I could probably increase the um, smoothing out the normals, but I'm not gonna bother with it too much. You know, this is pretty good for you know, just a quick and dirty uh, way to do this sort of thing. <laughs> 